Islamic religious buildings traditionally were lit with glass lamps, generally called mosque lamps, that hung from chains. In 16th century Turkey, it was common to make mosque lamps from glazed ceramic and to pair them with round or oval ornaments. Mosque lamps were also symbols of divine light and therefore of God's presence in the place of prayer, while the ornamental spheres symbolized the orb of heaven. This ceramic lamp is adorned with the names of God, Allah, and the Prophet Muhammad, and the first four leaders, caliphs, of the early Islamic community, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali. The inscribed names, written in a large Arabic script called Thuluth, confirm that the lamp was intended to symbolically represent divine light in addition to literally illuminating the space. Here's a more traditional series of mosque lamps. Now, all of these would be lowered twice a day uh, to light them. And here's the best depiction I can find of that. Uh, it's not something that we see a lot of images of. Now, despite their fragile nature, many of these mosque lamps survive because of the reverence that they have for them. They're also generally out of the way. So when they're lowering the lamps to light them, they don't lower them to the floor. Just like today, you would find chandeliers, for example, for churches much more easily than you might find statuary. Early mosques were lit by suspended single jug glass lamps and by lamps on trays called polycandela. While the original fixtures of the 8th through 10th century Mosque of Cordoba have not survived, we have applied information gathered from other contemporary sites and artifacts to determine how this mosque's interior would have been lit. Here we see two experimental images. Both contain an eye chart placed below the glass fixtures. As water has been added to the glass on the right, a caustic is cast downward illuminating the area below. At every combination we measured how the caustics reacted, took five photo exposures at both views and captured video. We plan to make this data publicly available.